The problem is that so many kids grow up in an environment where by the time they're 10 or 12 years old, they think their options in the world are being in the NBA or being in Hollywood. That's their perspective of the world. It seemed to me that what we needed to do to get first going was to break the stereotypical mindset given to kids about what's important in our culture. Since 1989, FIRST Robotics competitions have created a fun, exciting atmosphere where kids can learn about engineering, math, and science. As a junior, you get to physics classes, you've been on the team a couple years ago. Okay, so that's why that works. You have the practical knowledge to see the math and go, oh, oh yeah, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. FIRST is the biggest robotics program in the world and impacts approximately 200,000 students each year giving them hands-on, real-world experience with science and engineering. Student teams, led by professional engineering mentors, work together to solve an engineering challenge. Students learn the value of teamwork, problem-solving, and gracious professionalism. The varsity-level competition is the first robotics competition, or FRC. Designing and building an FRC robot is an intellectually challenging experience that closely mirrors a real-world engineering project. Students must address mechanical design, electrical design, and programming needs and integrate a variety of sensors, actuators, and vision systems to build an advanced robotic system in only six weeks. Teams manage limited budgets and meet design constraints, which change annually. In order for teams to successfully build complex robots, FIRST needed an industry-grade embedded design platform that offered strong compatibility between hardware and software. FIRST wanted widely adopted industry standard technology that students would likely use in college and their careers. FIRST chose the National Instruments Compact Rio Reconfigurable Control and Data Acquisition System as the new robotic controller. With Compact Rio, FIRST teams gain an incredibly powerful controller with an open embedded architecture that includes a 32-bit real-time PowerPC processor, FPGA-based I.O., and real-time vision processing. Because it's rugged, with a shock rating of 50G, Compact Rio is well suited for the rigors of competitive settings. This means that more than 40,000 participants will have access to the same tools professional engineers are using in real-world robotic applications. It's definitely faster. We can monitor stuff while we were driving, so it helped out a lot there. Well, the, the Compact Rio was great because we had so much more processing power. We didn't have to worry about integer overflows in an 8-bit operating system. Compact Rio is powered by LabVIEW graphical programming, which many teams use to design, prototype, and deploy their robots. LabVIEW is a graphical programming environment used by millions of engineers and scientists to develop sophisticated measurement, test, and control systems using intuitive graphical icons and wires. One, we've been uh, very pleased with LabVIEW. Uh, we use LabVIEW. It was very uh, easy compared to C because we can easily just drag and drop things. But development and testing especially, that's, that's what I did enjoy about it, was um, the fact that we could quickly put something together and test it out. Uh, and quickly manipulate variables, try different things with the system without revisioning or rewriting something. This year it actually took us less than six weeks to build our robot because of LabVIEW. LabVIEW with the Compact Rio allowed us to design our, our algorithms. We were able to do all of that on our laptop and then we took that and put it on the Compact Rio and we were able to make it just work. At National Instruments, we're excited to partner with FIRST to help prepare today's students for their future careers. FIRST is doing spectacularly well as you can see here and uh, it's no secret that we couldn't have done it this year without National Instruments. Their technology, the C-Rio, LabVIEW, and most of all, all their people with the passion to help get the system smoothly transitioned from where we are to where we need to be, they were great. They were just plain great.